Digital Trends Mobile World Congress coverage is presented by Virgin Mobile. Jeff here with Digital Trends, and we are at the SUS booth of Mobile World Congress, and we're checking out the new phone pad. So this is, it'll look, it looks a lot like a Nexus 7. Uh, it's a 7-inch, you might think it's a tablet, but it's actually a 7-inch phone. Um, not sure why you would exactly need a 7-inch phone, but if you do, now you have one to choose from. So it's got full phone functionality. This is Android uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean. And it's got pretty much everything you need in a tablet and a phone. Um, phone pad sounds a lot like pad phone. This is not, there's no phone that connects into it like uh, Asus's other product. But this is uh, full Android, so you can go into the widgets here and do everything you might want to do there. It's got your multitasking. They've got a couple custom menus here. You can pull up some uh, custom apps there. Pull down here, you can get some uh, special settings there. But other than that, uh, it runs pretty standard. Everything is pretty normal. The, the key here is uh, the price. So this is only 220 euros. Uh, so that's, you know, somewhere around a little closer to $300 US. And it can pretty much do everything you need to do. It looks like it's definitely looks like, almost exactly like the Nexus 7. It's light, pretty nice plastic construction. And uh, as you can see, it runs on uh, Intel 1.2 gigahertz single core Intel processor, which is very rare to see, uh, still pretty rare to see Android on, on Intel hardware. But that's you know pretty much it. If you've seen a Nexus 7, you've kind of seen the basic idea here, just add a phone app. This is the Asus PhonePad.